Lando Norris, feature race winner, Bahrain. Lando, when you were getting strapped into your car before the feature race, what was going through your mind? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> um, a few nerves because, uh, yeah, obviously starting from pole um, is quite nerve-wracking because you don't want to lose it and you don't want to make any mistakes or uh, stall or anything, basically. So um, a few nerves, but at the same time was trying to be confident, make sure I knew you know, the procedures, everything I needed to be doing. Um, talking with my engineer, pit stop times, whatever, um, when was a good time to pit. So yeah, was not the most ideal situation, but um, I tried to make the most of it. So when you crossed the finish line to win the feature race, what went through your head? Uh, can't remember again. <laughs> um, I don't know. I guess a lot of happiness. Um, I think it was a proud moment for myself and the team because we did a, a very good job together, um, especially to have a one-two for, for Sergio and me, um, I think was, was pretty cool. So uh, a bit of relief, I guess, knowing I could win my first race in F2. Um, good amount of points to, to start the year, but uh, I can't really remember exactly what went through my head. Who did you most want to share your first win in Formula 2 with the most? Share as in, what do you mean? Who won race two or with which team? So share as in a friend or a family, enjoy it with. Oh, I guess the whole team, no one in particular. Um, yeah, it's not just one person which worked hard. It was you know the whole team, the mechanics, engineers, whoever, um, myself, my trainer, my dad, family, whatever. Um, I think everyone did a very good job in helping me and, and everyone perform well, so no one in particular, but I think, um, yeah, basically everyone. How did you enjoy your victory when you got home? Uh, I didn't really do too much, to be honest. I didn't party or anything. I didn't, um, didn't drink. Uh, I didn't really do too much. I think um, I already had a long week ahead of me straight away. Um, I was on the simulator at McLaren doing race support for um, Shanghai. So I had to make sure I went to bed early, um, prepared for that as much as I could. But uh, yeah, I didn't really think about the weekend too much. Um, you know, I just kind of went through the reports of, of everything that went on, what areas I can improve on. And I didn't really do too much to, to celebrate because um, it's only a race win. So. Uh, I think I celebrate more for the championship win. So you're the championship leader and the man to beat coming into Baku. How do you stay on top? Uh, wait to see the pace in FP1. Um, I don't know, it's a very different track to Bahrain um, and poor Ricard. So, uh, you know, I haven't been here before. I'm at a slight disadvantage, you know, just in FP1 really. Hopefully I can already make up the you know, lack of experience on the back of your track within the first few laps. Um, but I think it's a very good track for overtaking and, and having a fun race. So it's not going to be an easy one for sure. Um, it's much easier to overtake here than Bahrain. Um, so it might not be as easy in some ways. But uh, at the same time, you know, we need to keep working hard, making sure our race pace is good, our quality pace is good. Um, I don't make any mistakes and I think that's probably one of the biggest things. The pace of the car itself is very good, but uh, it's mainly the driver and myself who can make the mistakes and cost basically pole or the race win or whatever. So, um, yeah, not making mistakes, I think, is the, is the key.